Okay, quick little update on our path. Uh, I never quite finished the kind of series of videos on the path and a few people have been asking so I thought I'd come out in the rain and give you a quick update. You can see the path's all finished and all pointed and I've got plenty of footage that I'll put it after this of how we did that and uh, it's looking pretty ropey now just because it's middle of winter and there's plenty of muddy footprints being up and down here. Okay, so what we're using is the jointing compound. Uh, it's like a resin type compound um, that rather than using a traditional sand and cement mortar, you simply brush it in, uh, you wet everything down, brush it in, and over the course of kind of a day or two, it goes rock solid and gives a nice permanent um, pointing without all the hassle of worrying about staining and things like that. Okay, I'm probably only gonna manage half of this tonight as it's getting pretty dark already. Uh, but as you can see I've wetted this right down with the hose uh, and it's really emphasised on the packaging and the instructions that you can't over wet this so uh, I've really gone to town and soaking it through for uh, about five minutes before I start and then what we'll do is kind of keep it wet as we go uh, you can do this in the rain as well, it's one of the big advantages so you can kind of brush it in and as long as you keep the stone wet itself it won't stain it at all It's been down about five months and uh, and this pointing is holding up really well. It has gone slightly green, like mossy over the winter, um, but I'm pretty sure that will scrub up in the spring. So the main thing I hadn't shown is how we did the steps. Uh, these were just concrete steps before, we kind of render on them. Um, but we used the same paving stones, the limestone, as we did on the patio. We had some left over and we've done all the treads in that and then on the risers, um, we've used the sandstone sets from the path. So it's a bit of a mixture of sandstone and limestone but it works quite well and actually a little bit of staining on the sandstone it does stain a lot easier with the cement it kind of leaves a bit of a mark so they need a bit of clean up still. Um, but covered in dirt, covered in leaves but that's what winter gardens all look like. So this is just finishing off the steps and something I keep on getting asked on the channel is uh, what was the slurry that we used uh, it's basically a 50 50 water and SBR mix and then you thicken it up with dry cement uh, and that way you end up with something that's both an adhesive and a way of kind of priming any existing concrete but even if you're going onto a mortar bed laying a regular patio with natural stone you can prime the back of it like I'm doing here with the sets and it just makes it you know bomb proof really. In comparison to where I didn't use it, uh, it is just absolutely solid. So that's a, definitely a top tip if you're using natural stone. And the limestone seems to be weathering up nicely, it's kind of changed colour a little bit. I ended up putting cement uh, mortar in these gaps, uh, pointing out with the cement rather than the the compound, you know, the resin compound, just because there were some overhangs and it wouldn't have held. And then it switches back to the sandstone sets down to the bottom of the garden. So this area here is incomplete, but um, we decided to dig out a bit of a border. Your phone? How, how has that happened? I like that hat. Oh man. See where my bold spot normally goes. We moved across a load of lavender hedging or plants from the veg patch and then over here 
had a couple of spare sleepers, put those in and put some gravel down. And that's a temporary feature until we put the decking in, which will go all the way along to the end and go where all this rubble is. All that's going to have to be shifted, or at least uh, some of it. And then we'll have steps down from where the pizza oven is, up there. So I'd say in general, the path is holding up really well, considering we've had kind of frost and rain uh, for the past few weeks. The fast point, that compound, is got a bit of green on it now. Um, but I'm hoping that'll just clear up when we come to kind of give it a bit of scrub in the spring. Um, I haven't sealed these at all. And um, that was advised by the supplier. Um, and the stone market kind of said, basically, if the, the stone is good enough quality, you know, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years, and it should last in it, kind of with its own natural properties and uh, be resistant to weather. But if we did want to, it's probably best to leave it uh, down for a few months, if not one kind of season, and then seal it. Um, obviously, you really want to seal it when it's bone dry. So we'll wait till the summer. And I do like quite like the look of the sets when they're wet. So it may be that we use something that will kind of darken the colour a bit um, if we feel it's necessary. So it's not a nice weather and patios and paths are probably the least of people's priorities at the moment. So uh, we'll head back inside and finish up this video. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.